In this lesson, we will use the route utility to assess organizational security. We are in the route portion of the video series. This lesson is part of a video series that prepares you for the hands-on portion of the CompTIA Security Plus exam and is designed to give you hands-on experience with the operations and incident response section of the exam. So what is route? The route command in Linux is a networking utility used to display or manipulate the IP routing table. The command is used by system administrators, network engineers, or users with sufficient privileges to manage the network configuration on a Linux system. The command can be used whenever there is a need to view or modify the IP routing table on a Linux system, which may occur during network setup, troubleshooting, or changes in network connectivity. The route command is executed within the Linux terminal or shell, and its effects are applied to the local system's IP routing table. The command is used to manage the routing table, which is essential for determining the path that network packets take from their source to their destination. It helps in controlling the flow of network traffic and ensuring proper communication between devices on a network. To use the route command, open a terminal in Linux and type route, followed by specific options and arguments to perform various tasks, such as displaying the current routing table. The rest of the how is what this video is all about, so let's get into it. To get started, grab the companion guide from the link in the show notes below. Also, if you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any new videos. So we have our companion guide. We have Kali Linux up and running. We are ready to actually run through the steps that we see here. And remember, we're teaching concepts, not steps. The steps may be a little bit different on your machine, but as long as you understand the concept, we should be all set. So let's get right into the route command. So the first thing it says is go ahead and go into a terminal session. We can do control alt T. I'm just going to right click here on the desktop of my Kali Linux and open terminal here. That's going to open up a terminal session. To make this a little bit bigger, I'm going to do control plus on the keyboard and that's going to make the prompt just a little bit bigger so we can see that. Now we're going to tick this off as being completed. And the next step says before we go and make any changes, Let's look at the current route command. So I can go ahead and just type route right in there and take a look at the route command. And we're going to examine this in a little bit, but I'm going to add just one quick thing here. This is doing name resolution, which is okay. You can run the route command with the minus N option and it removes name resolution so I can see all the IP addresses. So let's go ahead and select this. So route and route dash N takes away the name resolution so we can see all IP addresses. And let's break this down just real quickly here. So we have the destination. Now the destination is the network destination for which the route applies. It shows the network or host IP address to which the route directs traffic to. The gateway is the gateway IP address to which the packet is forwarded for reaching the specified destination network. If the gateway is set to quad zero, it indicates a direct route. In other words, the destination is on the local network. Moving over to the gen mask. The gen mask is the subnet mask associated with the destination. It helps to determine the network portion of the destination IP address versus the host option. Moving over to flags, we have a series of options here in this column. Now this column contains the various flags that indicate specific characteristics of the route. The common flags are U for up, we have G for gateway, H for host. If we combine them with UG, that means it is up and the gateway is up. We also have the metric field here that you can see right here. On the metric field, that represents the cost of the route. It is used to determine the preference for a particular route when multiple routes to the same destination exist. The higher the metric, the higher the cost, the least desirable for that path. We also have reference. So the reference is the reference count of the route. It indicates the number of active references to this route. The use column tells us a little bit about the number of times this route has been used since it was added or last cleared. And iFace is the interface, which is what card or what network interface through which the traffic is sent to reach the specified destination. So we have this here. So let's break this down a little bit. So we see we have our destination it's on the 172.16.1. It has a broadcast map. It's up metric of zero. This network here, the 172.16, 
is this map here. So we have the 172.16 network. The gateway just goes out to the broadcast and we have the subnet mask. It is up as well. So this is what our map looks like. Let's just go ahead and actually take a look at a few things. So we quickly observe the destination and we're going to add another map or another route, I should say. So both. We have our map here. So this is what our Kali Linux device looks like here. So this was the route command. I have this IP address. Just make sure I can do this a couple of ways if config is one of them. And I see I have the 172.16.1.03 IP address with a mask of 255.255. And I can go out here into a switch, go out to this network. But for the sake of the routing command, we're going to add this host here. We're going to actually add this host and give it an alternative route. So here we are here. We just wanted to verify the IP address. I'm going to clear the screen here. I'm going to run route again, minus N for no name resolution. We're going back to the companion guide. And in the companion guide, we're going to add a static route to this network though, a 192.168.1. So essentially going to type in this command. So we go ahead and put in this command, sudo route add net the 192.168 with the mask of slash 24 the gateway address is going to be 172.16.1.1 we hit enter let's see what happens and it needs a password because we are in sudo so i do cali and let's run the route command again i'm just up arrowing in there and i have just added this route in the previous routing table we did not have it what i wanted to do was show you how you can add one of these networks into the routing table which we did we added this route table now always in this class we talk about two sides of the same coin which is if we know how to add something we want to know how to delete it but let's go ahead and also add a metric to this we want this to be a high cost path so for the most part we want the route table to go this way so we want to come out of this interface and for the most part we always want it to go out this way to the 172.16.1.1 interface and then eventually go out to the WAN. But if something happens, this could be a backup route. Okay, we can do that. But we want to make this one here with a higher cost. So we go back into our terminal here and actually we're in the terminal. We're going back to our companion guide and I'm going to add a metric to here to make this a little bit more expensive. So let's go ahead and type that command in as well. Okay, so we ran ahead and typed in this command. We're going to add a metric to this here. So we hit enter. We're at the keyboard here. We hit enter. It requires sudo. So I up arrow control A to get to the beginning of the line sudo. I can just go ahead and hit enter here. And because we had sudo before, it still remembered it and it added a metric. Let's see if that's true. Let's run our route command again one more time. And let's see sudo route minus N. And now we see a couple of things have happened here. One is we have that metric of uh, 1000. This is great. This is what we wanted to do. And it sees this as a uh, host. So it says it's up gateway and the H stands for host under the flags here. So this is fine. We're okay with it. The main point here that I wanted to show is that we can add not only routes, to the routing table, but we can also add a metric to the routing table as well. So we're going to show this ticks off that we know how to add a metric. And as always in this class, if we know how to add something, we want to know how to delete it and vice versa. So I'm going to clear the screen. Well, let's go on this side to do that first. I'm going to clear the screen, run the route command with the minus N for no name resolution. And we're going to actually uh, get rid of the 192.168.1 route. So I'm just going to up arrow and get the same command here. But this time I'm just going to uh, delete it. So rather than add, we're just going to do a delete. Chances are we're going to need sudo. I just like to have it on anyway. Then we just run the route command again. We had it two times. So let's go ahead and remove it one more time. That was the one with the metric. So we got rid of the one with the metric. Now I want to get rid of the other option. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and type the this command in here, the sudo route del net, 
and we'll get rid of the other route option, the 192.68.1.0. And let me just type that command in. So we have our command in sudo route del net. Uh, here's the net, the net mask, 255. Let's hit enter. And now we're going to take a look at our route command with the minus N. And we see that we are back to square one where we have removed that 192.168.1. So rather than having our map like this, we are now back to where we started just a regular map this setup over here so we're looking pretty good so let's do some housekeeping i'm going to scroll up and take a look at blocking traffic to a malicious ip so let's clear all of this right now and we're on the cali side as well i'm just going to ping example.com so we can ping example.com let's give it a moment and hopefully it'll come alive example is just uh what the name suggests we can go to an example website to take a peek at that so I'm going to do control Z and I'm going to run the route command and take a look at that and see if there's anything in there. Okay, so it's not there. Let's go ahead and reject it. So you saw that I could originally ping it and let's just do a minus C count and just send three quick packets so you can see that and it's going to stop. Okay, great. Now let's just say we want to block traffic there. We can basically send a reject command by putting in this command right here and I'll go ahead and just type that in right now. Okay, so I just typed in sudo route add host example reject. And now if I try and ping, it says no connection. You can use the route command to reject ideas to host. So in other words, if you don't want a path to a particular host, you can do that. We're going to quickly clear that. We're going to run the route command one more time. And I see I have a reject path to example.com. So this is an uh, example. And it says the host, there's no gateway. It's basically being rejected. So you can use that to uh, control blocking traffic to a malicious IP at the local Linux level. Of course, what we always want to do is to make sure that if we can do one thing one way, we can do something the other way. So we're going to go ahead and actually delete that rejection by putting in this command in right here and I'll do that right now. So rather than an add, I'm going to do a delete. So we do a delete on that one here and now let's do a route n to make sure that it is gone and now I should be able to ping example.com again using the route command and we are back up and running. So that's how you block traffic to a malicious IP with the route command. Okay, so we're back here. Let's do some housekeeping. Let's get rid of all the other tasks here. And let's look at mitigating a DDoS attack, implementing a black hole. Okay, so let's just say we wanted to mitigate a distributed denial of service attack on this host. For example, we want to implement a, a black holing aspect of this, which is a redirection uh, technique. So this is just an example to show you what that would look like. So here we are. First, let's clear the screen on the Kali Linux side. Let's do, rather than if config, I'm going to do IP address. That way you know there's two ways to do this, IP adder. And I see that I have a loopback, a local interface here, which is on the local loopback. The 127.0.0.1 is a logical interface here that you can test your TCP IP stack. And then we also have a physical IP address here. When I say physical, a physical card, ethernet zero, and it has this logical IP address 103. So basically let's say this interface was getting bombarded with a lot of packets like HPing3, and I wanted to redirect any traffic from here into the local loopback. I can do that with this command here. So before we do it, let's take a look at our routing table. So we'll do route minus n so we have the regular the gateway to get to the broadcast you this is the gateway to get to 172.16.1 is the gateway address so basically unknown gets routed if it doesn't know how to get to a specific host on a local network it's going to go out to the gateway and try and find it through this router the router will do the same thing if it knows where the network is it will route it if it doesn't it'll send it out the gateway and on through the internet is how the internet works so we're back on here and we're going to add the sudo route add and create this loopback effect. And let me just type that in. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm adding a route, which is the 172.16.1.103. And I'm saying the gateway 
To get to this route is the local loopback, and I'm going into this interface, and I hit enter, and if I show the route command, I now have that redirection technique. It's a host, it's up, and it's the gateway, and that's how we would use a black holing attempt, which is anything that comes to this interface wouldn't come into the interface, it'd get redirected to the local loopback. Now, keep in mind, this is an, an example of black holing. There's a number of ways and better ways to mitigate a, between a distributed denial of service attack or just a regular um, distributed or a denial of service attack. The idea here is to show you how the route command could be used to redirect packets and also how to redirect traffic. So we're going to just click this off as done. And we're almost to the end of this exercise. So I'm going to clear the screen and also how to clear the flush to flush the cache. So these are not persistent. These are just session routes. If I wanted to make them persistent, I can write them into a script and into a file. We're not going to do that because most of our routing is usually done at the routing level. We wanted to show you the route command for the purpose of the CompTIA Security Plus exam and also for general knowledge. So to flush the cache, we're going to type this command in and let's go ahead and do that. So right now I'm going to flush the cache. I'll take a look at the route table. We are back to square one. I probably should get rid of I probably should get rid of uh, this host here, which is I can always just delete the loop back. Let's go ahead and do that for housekeeping purposes, just to make sure everything is nice and clean. So rather than um, keep this redirection in, we're just going to use the del command. That's going to get rid of it. We take a look at the route here. We just do another flush just to make sure everything is clean. And we have completed this portion of the exercise. So for additional switches and help. So let's clear the screen, not here. On this side, we're going to clear the screen and you can always find a little bit more about route by doing tech tech help. That'll give you some of the commands here. We saw some of them in this tutorial. And also you have the man for the full manual on the route command. And this gives you a lot more information. So always it's tech tech help for most of these commands, not always, or you can run the manual. Okay, so let's take off our performance here, which is good. And like if config and some of the other options in net tools, which is not natively implemented on Ubuntu, the route command is considered uh, somewhat deprecated, meaning that it's no longer in use unless you add it. It's not native to these Linux distributions. So you either have to add them on with the net tools package for Ubuntu, the new or modern command is the IP route show. So in Kali Linux, I can do IP route show and it'll give me a lot of the information we saw with the regular route command. It gives me the default via this uh, gateway. The interface is F0. It tells me what the protocol is DHCP. It gives me the source IP address, which is this host IP address with a metric of 100. It looks a little different, but for the most part, it works the same. The reason why this is mentioned in the CompTIA Security Plus exam is because you may get a question that looks something like this. It says, what command produced the following output? And you have to pick the right command among a set of options. So you won't be able to do this on the real exam, but since we're here, we'll take a quick peek. So we're going to clear. And we're going to take a look at if config, go into our mental Rolodex, if you will. And we know if config did not do that, if config is an interface configurator that's going to give me the IP address and the MAC address of that interface, among other things. Let's see what trace route will do. I'm going to trace route and go to uh, 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and see if that works for me. That is not the output I was looking for. It doesn't look like this. Traceroute is a way of seeing all the packets that leave from your host, the path that it takes to get to a destination host, in this case from my computer to Google's DNS. So that is not the right answer. I'm going to clear my screen. DH client, what does that do for me? Well, let me do IP adder first. And this is serving as a review. So IP adder is going to show me my IP address. I have my IP address here and my MAC address. DH client is going to basically release the client. So sudo, I do sudo DH 
client, I can finish that. And if I do a minus R, it's going to release the client. So if I run IP adder again, I no longer have an IP address. It's gone. But if I run sudo dh client minus dr, this is basically pulling it. I'm going to get a new IP address. When I say new IP, a new lease. And I do IP adder and now, well, I got both. Not only a new IP, uh, a new lease, but I also got a different number, which is fine. Um, I'm going to clear and let's see if this is right. I'm going to do route minus N for no name resolution. And yes, this is the right output. So the correct answer is route. And this is why we went over this so you can be prepared for the exam and also have general knowledge. When it comes to op, we haven't discussed it yet. That's going to be the topic for our next video. See you then.